What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had a ton of messages asking me for the base settings and game settings for the CSL DD so I thought rather than just answering everybody individually here's a very quick video just showing the base settings and settings for each individual game that I play on the CSL. So I hope this helps and if you've got any questions feel free to drop in the comments section below as always timestamps in the video description. Okay, so we'll start with Assetto. It's important to understand that I change my feedback in-game with the plus and minus key on my keypad and most cars, most of them, are between 60 and 80 feedback. At 100 it's just far too heavy with the boost kit on the CSL DD. So depending on how you, you know, prefer it, somewhere between maybe even 50 and 80 depending on how heavy the steering is. But of course, mix and match, check all the settings, you know, feel them out and see what works best for you. On to then Forza Horizon 5. The key setting in here that really messed with me was the off-road field scale. It was far too aggressive off-road, so I've turned that right down. But once again, check the settings, play around with them to you know to get it where you're most comfortable with. When it comes to car X, the only real options for adjustment in the menus are steering linearity, which you should leave at one, and the feedback itself, and that obviously is where you will need to put it to where you're most comfortable. Most of the car's characteristics will be tunable, so it's all about the tune. Lastly, we're on to GTA's 5M with the wheel support. There are so many different settings with GTA 5M. It's important to understand what they all do, so when you do select the setting, there will be a, a brief description of what that uh, setting will do if you change it. So make sure you understand what you're changing Maybe change one, take a little drive, see how you feel with it. If it's an improvement, you know, you're making progress. If it's not, put it back to how it was and move to the next setting. What you can see on the screen here are all the settings that I've settled on. And I now find it really, really enjoyable to drift on 5M. Um, it wasn't so good with the G920, but with the Fanatec, it's leagues, worlds better. And I hope uh, you guys can get it working and have fun just like I do. It goes without saying, obviously, if you guys have bought your DD and are playing on console with it, you're not going to have the first section in the video to adjust on Fanalab. I hope this has helped you guys. If it has, drop a like for me and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.